So, everybody wanted to give a shot on this one? Ooh. All right. What was the answer? I got three. I mean, x over three equals eight. X over three equals eight. What did you end up x equal? 44? Huh? Okay. What you get? I got x equals 48. X equals 48? Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. Before we start guessing numbers, all right, did you get a different answer? I got x equals 48. Okay, x equals 40, x equals 48, and x equals 24. Listen up. Before you guys start guessing numbers by picking, hey, what number, you know, divided by 3, add to negative 4, gives me 12, let's, um, let's actually solve by using our steps, our order of operations. So first thing we do is the reverse order of operations. We look to what, how can we undo addition and subtraction? So I want to undo addition and subtraction. I look at this and I say, all right, what do I have going on here? Do I have addition or do I have a subtraction problem? And, hold on, just raise your hand and I'll help you and I'll pick on you. Now, you guys can see there's a plus sign, so it's very common for everybody to say, well, it's addition, let's subtract. But we gotta be careful, we gotta look at the sign that we're actually adding. We're adding a negative four, right? We're adding a negative four. So you guys should know that adding a negative four is the exact same thing as subtracting a negative four. So, same thing as 3 plus a negative 4 is the same thing as x minus 4. You guys need to know those are equivalent. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually add 4. Because what happens when I add a 4? A negative 4 plus 4 becomes a what? 0. And that's what I want to obtain. I want to obtain a 0 when I'm adding or subtracting. So I know I see this addition sign. I know it's there. But you're adding a negative number. So when you're adding a negative number, you've got to make sure you add a positive so it becomes zero. Okay? If you guys would have wrote, if you would have wrote make negative four minus four, that's negative eight. Okay? So make sure you guys are getting it to zero. Whatever you do on one side, you do it to the other. That becomes zero, so you're left with x over three equals sixteen. I know a lot of you freak out when you're looking at this, you're like, God, I hate fractions. Just remember, it all it's saying is x is being divided by 3. So to undo x being divided by 3, the inverse operation would be to multiply. So you just multiply by 3 on both sides. Now, 3 divided by itself, we again like to say it cancels out, it becomes 1. 1 times x is x. 16 times 3 equals 48. All right? So there's probably a lot of different ways you guys can make you know, little uh, mistakes, just make sure you guys are showing your work and using the inverse operations to solve. So, we didn't get the index.